Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to take on Drupal Commerce shipping. And we're going to start with the absolute basics, which is flat rate shipping. And we're going to use a couple of parameters, like if the order is more than $50, then they'll have the ability to have free shipping, or otherwise they have two other shipping options. And if you installed Commerce Kickstart, chances are these shipping options might already be there. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you how to make them yourself so that you can truly understand exactly what's going on uh, with the shipping system settings. And so like in the last video when we set up text, this is using rules. So it will give you a little bit more experience understanding what rules are about and what they're like. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to store settings and then shipping. And you may have some default ones installed depending on what you installed here. If not, uh, you'll have no options and you'll have a button to add a flat rate uh, service. So why is it just flat rate? Well, if we come to our site's modules, uh, I'm gonna just open this up in a new tab here. We can type in shipping here, and you could see that the only shipping module that we've enabled is uh, shipping, shipping UI. So this is really that all that comes with it, and then uh, to have other shipping methods, you need to install those. So the other one that was installed with this installation was uh, flat rate. So if uh, we type in flat rate, you can see flat rate shipping was installed with Commerce Kickstart and comes here already. So if we wanted to add some other types of shipping modules like this uh, Kalish pack and ship integration, that sort of stuff, uh, we'd have to download them and enable them. So let's go back to our shipping page and we're gonna add a flat rate. So let's click this button. And then now we're gonna give this a title and this is going to be free shipping. And uh, the display is also going to be free shipping because the display title is what your customers are going to see. Uh, this is what it's gonna show up in the back end. And you can give it a description if necessary, but uh, we can say for orders over, uh, not 50%, $50. Um, shipping uh, for orders are well okay whatever for orders over fifty dollars fine and base rate is going to be zero dollars so let's click uh, flat rate save flat rate great cool so now uh, let's actually go to our page here let's check out our cart we have more than fifty dollars worth of stuff in our cart already and let's go to check out and let's we have our shipping information already in here. Continue next step. No shipping rates found. So what's going on here? Well, we've created our shipping rate, but we haven't told it to show up for any particular reason yet. Especially we haven't said for over $50. So there's no reason why this should be working. So let's go to configure component right here, and that's gonna take you to the standard rules screen. So now we're going to click configure component and it's going to take us to this pretty standard rule screen. What we notice is that we already have an action and the action is add a rate for a shipping service to an order. And so if we click edit, we can see a little bit more about this, but it's really just going to say the value free shipping um, is going to be added to the order. So like I said, we don't have to do anything here. What we do want to do is add a condition in which this applies right now. Uh, we have no condition, so it's not going to apply. So let's click Add Condition. And here we can say, uh, down here, we want to say Data Comparison. And now we can click this downwards arrow uh, for the Data Selector to see what options there are. And this Data Selector is really like what piece of data we want to compare. And we want to compare the order total. We want to see if that order total is over $50. So we can click this downwards arrow and we can say, commerce order dot 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 and then it opens up some more options and we're going to look down here we want to look for order total so commerce order total dot 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 and then total amount so this very first one commerce order total amount perfect and let's click continue now it gives us an option so we could say if the commerce order total is exactly and if it equals an amount but we don't want to do that we want to say if it's greater than um, and then instead of a data selector here, we're going to click this switch to direct input mode. And for the value, we're just going to say 50. So if the 
uh, commerce order total amount is greater than 50, then apply this rule. So I saved that uh, shipping rule. I'm going to go back to shipping, and you can see that it's right here. And now let's refresh our shipping page in the checkout. And now you'll see we have an option for free shipping. I could continue the next step, and it's going to tell me uh, pretty much I have free shipping, and it's not adding shipping to anything. Cool. Well, let's go and add another uh, shipping and let's click add a flat rate service and we're just going to do this one more and it's just going to be called um, shipping um, and this can be um, normal shipping I'm not exactly sure what normal people would call this but normal shipping we could say it's going to be five to eight days and the base price is going to be 12 bucks because it's so expensive. And now let's click Save Flat Rate. Okay, so just like the last one, we want to configure this component. And just like the last one, we have actions um, already in here, and we just need to add a condition. So let's add a condition again. And just like last time, we're going to pick Data Comparison, then Downwards Arrow, Commerce Order, uh, Commerce Order Total dot dot dot, commerce order total amount continue and then in the value we're going to say uh, is greater than um, zero so uh, sorry we want to switch this to a direct input um, there you go so as long as the order is greater than zero they should have this option so let's click save now refreshing Anybody is going to have this normal shipping option. If we select it here, we click continue. It's going to add this into our total price. We can see our shipping is $12 here. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And now it's $84.99 this total with the $14 or $12 shipping, which is pretty awesome uh, because that was really easy to do. Now let's go in our cart. Um, and let's actually uh, remove some things from it. So let's go back to uh, checkout here. And we have our products. Um, I'm sorry, let's go to this checkout right here. And in here, we can actually remove some of our products. I'm gonna remove this expensive backpack that's taking up a ton of our order. And now our cart is only $39. So if we click checkout, you'll be able to see that once we get past the shipping screen to continue the next step, you'll actually see that we have our free shipping option still. I mean, why is that? We did say that it should be for any order under or greater than $50 that free shipping should appear. And here we have free shipping still showing up. Well, there is a good reason for that is we messed something up, right? And this is a very common thing to mess up and that's why I wanted to do this. So we can go to shipping and then free shipping, configure component. Uh, this is actually, uh, a little bit of an issue I have with Drupal Commerce. Sometimes they expect things out of you and uh, they don't tell you. So here it says value and you have 50 in here for your value. So you might be thinking that's $50. Well, what 50 is, is it's actually 50 cents. So in Drupal Commerce, they're using micro, uh, I forget what they have a name for it, micro currency or something like that, where 50 equals 50 cents and there's no uh, differentiating it. Um, so the solution here is actually to type 5,000 instead of 50. So 5,000, you can just imagine a decimal point being in here, and that is going to be it. So as long as our shipping is over $50 or 5,000 for the value, we should save this. And now if we refresh here, goodbye to free shipping. And likewise, if we go to our cart and add something, let's add the quantity to like 10 or 12 or something and check out, it's gonna be right back there. Cool, so this is how you add shipping rules that are conditionally changing based on the order uh, price in the, uh, the total order price. So this is Drupal Commerce shipping at its most basic, and we're gonna get to some uh, UPS or USPS, one of those in the next one. Uh, 
and we're just going to talk more and more about shipping and then the order process. So if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.